Good morning everyone and welcome back to Phase 3 Phonics. Now we're going to start by heading over to Phonics Play to have a go at identifying some of the graphemes you know. I've selected just a few graphemes from Phase 2 and all of the graphemes that you've learnt in Phase 3 so far. You might like to have a go afterwards and choose your own graphemes to play with. Let's see what score we can get. Z. Soft, hard, x, y, ch, l, s, l, v, b. Fantastic! We got 23 graphemes correct in one minute. I wonder if after our phonics lesson today you can have a go and see if you can beat our score. Now it's time to check your tricky word knowledge. Let's see if you can identify the phase three tricky words that we've learnt. Don't forget the new one for this week. Y-O-U spells you. Let's have a look at what we can do. Let's see. Oh, first one. Y-O-U spells you. B. We. He. Me. She. You. Now let's see if you can do it without me. Are you ready? Great job. New diagraph is for today. Standing on planet Earth, we've got a king, ring, and swing. Say those words out loud and see if you can think about what our new diagraph is going to be. You're right, our new sound is ng. Can you say it with me? Ng. To make this diagraph, we've got N and G. Ng. Let's see if we can read this sentence. Tricky word, you. Here's a new tricky word that we haven't learnt yet. R. U, R, A, S, T, R, O, Ng. Strong, strong. Read it from the start. U R A strong. K I ng king. Read it all together. U R A strong king. Let's check. There he is, the strong king. What's our new diagraph? Ng. Super. Can you join in with me as I do the action for the new diagraph? Ng. Show me your muscles. Ng. Let's have a look at the Jolly Phonics song for this diagraph. If you're strong and you know it, say mm. If you're strong and you know it, say mm. If you're strong and you know it and you really want to show it If you're strong and you know it, say mm. Now we need to make sure that we can identify this sound on a sound mat. So follow my instructions and I will help you find ng on the sound mat. Let's have a look all together. Down two squares. One, two. And across two. One, two, 
we have landed on digraph ng for ring. Okay, the little alien has asked for some help. Can we read each word on the star to help him jump up all the way back to his planet? Let's read the first one all together. Get your robot arms ready. Looking at the sound you can see on the first, off we go. R, I, ng, ring. Excellent, he can jump up to the next star. S, O, ng. Don't forget two robot arms when we see that digraph. Try it again. S, O, ng, song. Fantastic, he's jumped up. Okay, your turn. Off you go. And let's check. P, I, ng, ping. Well done if you were able to blend those sounds and read the word ping. He's jumped up. Last star. Are you ready? Your turn first and then we'll check. O ng long great blending because of your super blending the alien has jumped up all of the stars and has got back to his planet great job okay now let's put your new knowledge into action and do some segmenting we're going to have a go at completing the spelling spiders so we need to make sure that we're stretching those words out so that we can hear all of the sounds Let's have a look at which picture we are going to be writing first. We can see that there is a ring and we need to have a go at writing ring. The first letter is sitting nicely in the middle. It's not tickling the top and it's not tickling the bottom. What's the first sound you can hear in ring? Ring. What's the first sound we can hear? R. Let's write it down then. Off we go to one arm robot. Down, up and over. Okay, let's stretch the word out again to hear the next sound. Stretch it out. R ing. I. Inky the mouse. Off you go. I. Down, tummy, dot on the top. And at the end, stretch it out one more time. Ring. Ng. Ng, a new digraph. Let's write it down. N first, down, up and over. And next is the G. Remember we say the letter names. N and G. Let's do a curly caterpillar for G. Curly caterpillar up and down. Super segmenting. Let's do the next one. Oh, here we've got a king. Now I would like you to pause the video and have a go at doing king on your own. You can either write the word straight onto your book or you can ask your grown-up to draw the spelling spider for you. Think about which letter you're going to need at the start. Remember, it's tickling the top. So which kind of k will it be for king? Have a go and then press play when you're ready to check. Okay, are you ready? Stretch it out. King. And again. K ing. The first sound we could hear was k. Now remember, it can't be a curly caterpillar, it can't be C, because this letter tickles the top. So it needs to be K. Let's write it. Tickle the top, down, up. Beautiful face, beautiful dress. And the next sound, stretch it out. K, ing, i, i. Off you go. Down, up, dot on the top. And at the end, k, i, ng, ng. And new digraph, n and g. N first, down, up and over. And g. Curly caterpillar up and down. Well done if you managed to get all of those sounds correct in the word king. 
activity, you can either join in with me or you can ask your grown-ups to write down each word as it is on the screen onto a piece of paper so that you can practically put the words into the correct order. Because this sentence is all mixed up. The words have flown off the line and we need to put them back into the correct order so that it makes sense. So pause the video here if you're going to have a go at doing it properly on your own and then join me when you're ready. We know at the start of a sentence we need to have a capital letter, so let's have a look at which word has got a capital letter. Okay, there we go, it's this one, tricky word, the. We can see a capital T, so let's pop that one here. The, hmm, which word do we think we need next? Are there any other clues about how we can order these words? <gasps> look! This one's got a full stop at the end. So can it go here if it's got a full stop? No, it needs to go at the end. Let's robot talk this word. R -itch. Rich. Okay, the something something rich. Let's read these words and figure out where they need to go. I -s is, and then here we've got k -i Ng, king. Okay, let's pop them down onto the line and see if it makes sense. The is king rich? No. Let's try swapping these over. Now let's read it. The king is rich. Fantastic, we have been able to put the words into the correct order. Read it again. The King is rich. Thanks for helping me everyone. Let's have a look at our chili challenges for today. Challenges. Chili one is to identify ng on your phase three sound mat. Once you've done that I'd like you to practice writing ng. Chili two. Can you write this simple sentence? The ring is gold. And if you're ready for chili three you're going to have a go at creating your own sentence about this picture. Have a look at the picture and then you need to write your own sentence. But your sentence needs to include the word moth and the word wing. Can you make a sentence using the words moth and wing? Don't forget your capital capital, letters on the line, finger spaces and a full stop. Good luck with your chilli challenges. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. And don't forget our new diagraph. Mmm.